Hey people, it is me, Lisa Lillian, also known as Hungry Girl. I am live in my kitchen. I've got um, a lot of dogs circling the area, looking for the perfect spot to chew their bone. It's gonna be under my foot. Lolly, move over. <laughs> she always stands under my foot, so if you hear a yelping dog, you'll know what it is. How are you? Um, I'm looking for people to fill up the room. Hi, Dawn. We have some exciting news. We have Lauren Lillian back in the house. Hi. After a long hiatus where she was very busy doing items. Um, but she is back and she is back in the kitchen. Lauren, how are you? Good. Are you how excited are you? to be back? Happy to be back? Yeah. Yes. And Jamie is back in the audience. So Jamie is no longer on the phone. And I have to be honest, I miss her. Hi, Jamie. So today is a very special day. Um, it is my sister's birthday. My sister Mary, who never misses a Facebook Live, who probably is missing this Facebook Live right now because she is on her way to do some kind of a social distancing celebration with her husband that involves food and chewing, so I support that. So she is on her way somewhere, but wish her a happy birthday. Hey Mary, happy birthday. She's gonna watch this later, so if you wanna say anything at all to Mary, say it and she'll read your comments and very much appreciate them. So today I have yet another two ingredient dough recipe. Now you guys flipped when I did, what did I do last week? Some kind of a, I did a couple of dough recipes. I know I did those PB and J Eagle bites, which I loved. Hi Jamie, hey, I'm just saying hello to my peeps. Um, so the two ingredient dough, is super popular, it is so easy. And I have to say, I've been playing around with the idea of making recipes for one. There are a lot of Hungry Girl recipes with three ingredient dough and they involve using sometimes the air fryer, but sometimes the oven and sometimes it's two servings. But a lot of what I've been doing lately is just like this single serving situation where it's like, I am craving a bagel and I want a way to make, make it. Oh, I think Mary is here. She says, I'll watch later. But she popped in just to say, I'll watch later. Anyway, so I've been making a lot of recipes with this like dough in the air fryer and they're recipes for one. And they are so satisfying. And today I'm going to show you, we are going to be making the world's cutest itty bitty everything bagels. Look how adorable they are. You just want to squeeze them. Why do we like cute food so much? And a serving is going to be all four of these for 117 calories. You heard that right, humans, 117 calories for four of these, and they couldn't be easier to make. Of course, I have artwork and prizes, things like spoons, measuring spoons that I'm giving away. If you like these, the way you're gonna win these is by clicking like. I prefer hearts to just plain old likes, whatever kind of emotion you feel. Um, also, you could share this recipe with your friends, especially if you know anybody that likes everything bagels or easy recipes, share this recipe, you can win that way. And you can also answer my silly trivia questions, which uh, there are usually like maybe some right, some wrong answers, but you don't have to answer correctly, you just have to try. So that's all I ask of you. Tonight's art, look, look closely, it says, you're my everything bagel, get it? You're my everything bagel, do you like that? If you wanna win this art, you can just say, Hey, I want to win the art and I signed it just for you. You may also be wondering, I'm wearing, I am matching the recipe because you know how there's cold shoulder? I have cold elbow and I have holes in my shirt to match the holes in a bagel. Get it? Give me an A for effort. Mike, do I get an E for effort? Lauren, do I get an A for effort with yeah. my holy shirt? All right. So, um, I think it's time to jump in. Um, I'm going to tell you a little, wait, do we have questions? How many calories did you say it was? It's going to be a hundred and, I think a hundred. Seven, 171, right? Yeah, yeah, 171. Did I say 117? Because maybe I I'm dyslexic. Did, yeah. Oh, wow. So sorry, so people. It's 170, not 117. Whew. Thank goodness Jamie must have caught that. I knew it 170 but you're getting four bagels and they're just beautiful now I'm gonna tell you the origin of the everything bagel is debatable like I was looking it up and I read that there was a guy and I think his name was David Gusson and he was from Queens and he has taken credit for creating the everything bagel he said he worked as a bagel baker in 1980 I think it was and he said one day he was cleaning out the bagel baking apparatus and instead of throwing out all the seeds, he said to his boss, 
hey, why don't we just put all this stuff in a bin and then throw it on a bagel and sell it and call it an everything bagel, which he said his boss did and they became insanely popular and blah, blah, blah. One thing led to another and the rest is history. However, that story is disputed by other people who say they existed in the 70s. So if you're out there and you know the truth about an everything bagel, let me know. Now, if you ask me, the person who put the everything bagel situation back on the map is Trader Joe's because when they came out with this everything but the bagel seasoning, the world went wild, me included. And we use this on everything and we're going to use it in the recipe today. So I am gonna stop jibba jabba as they say. Who says that? <laughs> I'm gonna start with the recipe. So the real ingredients of this recipe are fat-free Greek yogurt. I use the 0% kind by Faye. Some people say phage, but it's really Faya or Faye. And um, whole wheat flour, which is a lovely ingredient. You could use whatever kind of flour you want. If you have regular flour, it's okay. Some people have used almond flour. I don't know if the texture works quite as good. Oat flour, same deal, but I'm using whole wheat flour. And my other ingredient is the everything but the bagel seasoning, which you could make yourself if you wanted to, but it's easy enough these days to just pick these up at the supermarket. If you like this, let me know. This is a fantastic thing. Now, I bet they do. Aldi has everything, everything. So um, I am gonna start by putting a quarter cup of flour into a bowl. So I have like a medium sized bowl Again, you're gonna to have to get your hands dirty with this recipe. There's a quarter cup of this flour, which I put in my bowl. I'm gonna close this up and move this to the other side. And next, we wanna get the yogurt. So the, again, I'm using probably three quarters of this yogurt, this container. Um, love this stuff. This is the creamiest. It's so hard to believe that it actually is fat-free. And again, this recipe will have 170 calories, which is totally a calorie bargain. So we're gonna use a quarter cup. So you wanna know, this is just easy. Your ratio of flour to yogurt is one to one. So if you wanna just do the math, if you're a math person, you can make this recipe or make one and a half versions of this recipe and it'll all be good. But the, res the recipe is one to one ratio, which I think makes it easier. Do you agree? If you do, Aaron let me know. We have a recipe in Simply Six for everything bagel seasoning. Oh, we do. I knew it was in one of the cookbooks. I should be giving out a copy of Simply Six. Maybe I will, if you want it. I probably can. And the recipe is in there. It's very, it's very simple. Um, it's Simply Six. How many ingredients does it have? <laughs> hmm. All right, so this is my yogurt. Um, a quarter cup is going into my flour. Good, I'm not gonna use what's on the spoon because I had a full quarter cup. Now, if you can see what's happening, doo -doo 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 -doo. it's time before I mix up my dough, I'm gonna give you some tricks, then I'm gonna ask a trivia question. So first is gonna come the trivia question, which is, why do bagels have holes? It's not just to make them cute. I don't know why my shirt has holes, because I don't even know how cute this is, but holes in a bagel serve a purpose. What is the purpose that the hole in a bagel serves? Do you know? If you know, let me know. Um, I'm gonna start mixing my dough a little bit with a spoon. I'm gonna do the majority of the mixing with my clean hands, but I'm gonna start this up here like so. And then somebody gave a tip the other night, and I don't remember who it was, but they gave a tip to put some Pam on the little board or Pam on whatever it is you, is gonna be under what you're mixing and also on your hands. And that's a really great idea because guess what, it works. So I tried it and now I am a believer. So I put a little Pam on that, put a little Pam on my hands. You can also put flour on your hands. I used to do that, but now I'm the Pam lover, so I do that. What's going on? Anything going on out there, Lauren? Um, I used the plain Greek Faye yogurt, 0%, no flavor. I do have recipes actually with the flavored Greek yogurt and I have one coming up that is going to knock your socks off because it's incredible. And if you use the flavored Greek yogurts, it's great with like sweet bagel bites. So we have a ton of Hungry Girl recipes. 
like blueberry, strawberry, we have filled ones. We are like the bagel bite queens of the world at Hungry Girl. So you just wanna mix up your dough, which feels kind of nice. Lots of people are getting the turkey question, right? They are? Yeah. All right, so what are people saying about why there are holes in bagels? Most people are saying so they cook evenly. Well, faster. they cook faster, evenly, and also when bagels were first for sale, they were selling them on sticks, so it was easy for them to, you know, put them on a big stick and you'd be like, can you be able to line up a dozen bagels and sell them on a stick? That sounds fun, right? Um, all right, do we have another trivia question? I think we do. What are the two most popular flavors of bagels? Two most popular flavors of bagels. You might be surprised this is not a trick question. All right, so I've got my dough. It feels really good and doughy. All right, so what I'm gonna do now is I wanna make this into four even-sized little dough balls. So first I cut my dough in half, and then I cut it into quarters. I almost lost a dough ball. You know, if that fell on the floor, I was gonna pick it up and make it anyway. I wouldn't have eaten it. Would you have supported that, Lauren? Yeah. <laughs> Talking to someone who may or may not eat food off the floor. No, you're not, you don't eat food off the floor. I have a friend. I do, do we all have a friend who eats food off of the floor? Answer me now, because I certainly know I do. Yeah. I'm embarrassed to say it. All right, so we have the dough balls, like so. Now, what's going on? I wanna read some of your comments. Are you having fun? Can I hear some guesses? Yes, I wanna hear guesses. Um, somebody said everything in cinnamon raisins. Everything in cinnamon raisin. Berry, lots of cinnamon raisin. Oh, interesting. You guys are wrong. No, anyway. So wait, I'm gonna show you how I make them into little bagels. So once they're a ball, it's fine. But now, more importantly, you wanna put a hole. You stick your finger through the middle and then just shape it like a little bagel. Do you see that, Lauren? Yeah. Isn't that like magic? So you make they're four so of those. Cute. They're just like little, they look like oversized Cheerios, but when you when you bake them, they're gonna be better than that. Or okay. Hostess um, Donuts. Hostess Donuts. I like those little baby donuts. I love them. Um, okay, it's not cinnamon raisin, although I would have thought it would have been. Is anyone guessing everything? Yeah, lots of everything. All right, it's not, believe it or not, unless, unless the data that I looked at was older and now everything bagels have increased in popularity so much, the answer is plain. Did people say plain? Not that many. I think people didn't think to say plain. Plain, right. plain and sesame. Did anyone say sesame? Yes. Okay. It's plain and sesame. Those are the two most popular flavors of bagels. All right, so I am now almost done making my four little bagelettes, which are adorable. By the way, if you don't have an air fryer, I'm using an air fryer today, but if you want to just use your regular oven, you can. You're going to preheat that to 350 and then bake it for a little extra time. I'm going to bake these. I'm going to throw these in the air fryer for eight minutes. But if you use your oven, it'll probably take closer to 15. You might want to check them after 12, though. Okay, so I have my little bagels. I'm going to, I'm going to rinse my hands now. Now I'm going to show you how you top them. Can you see the little board? Can you see the bagels? Yeah. Can you see these cute things? All right, so this is my everything bagel seasoning, which I took out the little shaker top um, because it was getting in the way and I didn't want to shake it. I want to use it to measure. So I have um, that top. So if you start to shake that a lot, too much will come out. But I want to get a teaspoon and a half and I want to, I'm using my quarter teaspoon so it fits in the little jar. We have a teaspoon and a half, and you want to use like a little ramekin or something that your bagels will fit in. Do you see, can you see? And now we want to top them. So you're going to take this and go like that. Do -do -do -do. And look, there it is. The topping just sticks to it, and it looks beauteous. If you and make them into bigger, two bigger bagels, would it affect the taste? No, you can make one actually, or two. You can make them into three. It depends on how big you want them. So 
I made this originally as just one bagel and it was great and I loved it, but then I was like, doesn't everybody like cute food? So, um, there. And then the fourth one, and by the way, you're not even gonna be using all of this. So the calorie count is probably gonna even be lower, like what you actually eat. But I do this where I like, now I see how much I have left over. I'll do some on the bottom too, because I love the seasoning. So to me, you can't have too much flavor. So feel free to just coat the bottom as well if you have enough seasoning, which you will, I assure you. You don't need an egg bath for that? You don't need an egg bath. You need no bath. Maybe you need a bath, but your bagels don't. <laughs> but don't bathe in egg. All right, I think I have another trivia question, but first I'm gonna throw these in the air fryer. Okay, now I'd like to show you this air fryer. This is a Gourmia air fryer, it's set to eight minutes. I'm gonna put these guys in. Wow. My air fryer is, <laughs> there it is. Turn it on. It's at 330 degrees. They are gonna go in for eight minutes. I am probably not gonna sit here and make you watch me for eight more minutes because unless you wanna just shoot the breeze, um, I'm probably gonna just be like, hey, this is what they look like when they're out. But I'm gonna give you a trivia question because I have another one. Are you ready? Okay, how large do you think the world's largest bagel was? It is not the bagel that you ate from H&H &H Bagels in New York City. It is a different bagel. It is a bagel that was specifically made to be a very large bagel for the purpose of being the world's largest bagel to get in the Guinness Book of World Records. It happened in 2004, and how much did this big honkin' bagel weigh? And I think it was like a bagel with locks, so it wasn't just a bagel. So think about the locks weighing a lot as well as the bagel. 330, it's at 330 degrees. So I will recap the recipe and it could not be easier. It is a one-to-one -one ratio of fat-free, total 0% Greek yogurt. Um, I used a quarter cup of that and a quarter cup of flour. I used whole wheat flour because it has fiber and I happen to like it and I've been able to find it now, which is good. Mix that into a dough, turned it into little balls, put little holes in the middle, turn them into little baby bagels, and now they're in the air fryer. When they come out, they're gonna look just like that. You can make them into one big bagel. You can make them into two mini bagels. You can make them into three smaller bagels or four itty bitty everything bagels. You can choose. That is the beauty of the recipe. Um, it's so easy and you will be so happy. And I promised you I was gonna make, cause I made the PB and Jiggle bites and if anyone tried those, let me know. Let me know how you like those. I am definitely going to be making air fryer little like two ingredient dough deep dish pizzas and some more flavored bagels. So if you have any requests, let me know. Someone said a thousand pounds, 180 pounds, 750 pounds, 800 pounds. These are all great, fantastic guesses. Very close actually. Did anybody say the right number? Close. Very, very close. The actual answer is 868 pounds. It's an 868 pound bagel. I don't know how many points that is. But speaking of points, wait. I'm, I didn't want to forget. I'm going to tell you how many points these are. On the green plan, five points. On the blue and purple plans, four points for these. Four points on the green and purple. I mean, five points on the green and four points on the blue and purple. That's a pretty good deal for bagels, wouldn't you say? Who's out there? What color plan do you follow if you're on Weight Watchers out there? I'm very curious. Let us know. Good. The oven alternative is 350 degrees for about 15 minutes. So you can do that. I still have five minutes left on my bagel plans. Are we patient? Should we sit here and watch? Should we listen? All right. Does everybody know what's in everything bagel seasoning? Can you name the ingredients? Name the ingredients and you could win a prize. Do you know? You might know if you think about it. This recipe is cute. Wow, that's a big bagel. Yes, 868 pounds for a bagel is a lot. That's, I think about how many servings that is. That's like, I don't know, 1,600 servings, probably. 
no, like, probably 3,000 servers. I don't even know what I'm saying. Um, there they are, the cute everything, little itty bitty bagels, 170 calories for your chewing pleasure. If you make them and you want to post a picture of them, I would love that. And let me know if you have other questions. Hi, Jody. Hey, Jody. Hey, Betsy. Oh, Betsy's on blue. Any other questions? Gina. Is there someone named Gina Davis? Four bagels. Right? Four. Four itty bitty bagels. But if you, again, if you want to make one bagel, it'll still have 171 calories. It'll just be a large bagel. And that's actually a very good sort of bargain for a bagel calorie count, I would say. Because the 100 calorie bagels are kind of lame and flat, and these are good. Hey, Pat. They look good? Yes, Greek yogurt. There it is. Um, do I have any other things to give away? Yes, I'd like to tell you that if you post right now in the comments why you like the daily emails, that will also give you an edge on winning a prize. So if you want to win these spoons or this art or the third prize today I'm going to show you. copy of Simply Six. Last time we showed this, I have to tell you, people went crazy. I specifically show this recipe when I do my dough recipe, this book, recipe book when I do my dough recipes because there's a dough chapter. There's a Simply Dough section of this book with lots of the three ingredient dough recipes. So if you like the recipe I'm making now, you will love this book. We may or may not post the link. Jamie, I think, has a link. If you want this recipe, you could also just go to um, hungry dash girl.com slash live and you will find this recipe and all the recipes that I make we also have if you click on the Amazon like shop the recipes you'll get to a page that has a lot of the stuff that I use and a lot of the ingredients and this book will be featured there but if you want to win it tonight just partake comment like share talk about why you like the daily emails tell me you want to win the book and you might win the book so we're giving away a book a piece of art such as that and measuring spoons that say, hungry girl. Wow, we have a minute left on the bagels. We are making it. This is crazy. Should we peek at them? Should I peek at them now and see what it looks like? Because maybe they're ready early because there's like a minute left. All right, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. Yes, they actually look like they might be done. Depends on the color you like them, but look at that. Is that beautiful? Ow, it's hot. It's hurting me. Wow, so cute. I love that. Why do I love cute food so much? I don't know. But I will be back with more cute food. I beg you to make these because you're going to flip and you can eat them plain. You can eat them with a little light cream cheese, a little bit of light butter. You will love it. I'm going to take off now because I have to take some photos of me with these cute bagels and then go for a walk. Take the pooches out. So I hope you're having a great, safe night. Um, I will be back very soon with yet another recipe. I am Lisa Lillian, also known as Hungry Girl. Till next time, chew the right thing.